In this problem, we have a sound wave that is hitting an eardrum. The first part of the problem asks us to find the amount of energy received by the eardrum per second. First, let's find the intensity of the wave. We have, a, conveniently, we have a formula that relates the sound level of a sound wave to its intensities. It states that the sound level is equal to 10 times the log, with a base of 10, of the ratio of the intensity of the wave to I naught, the constant. So let's solve this for I. First, let's divide both sides of the equation by 10. So this 55 just becomes 5.5 equal to the log of the ratios. Then we'll raise 10 to the power of both sides of the equation because that'll cancel out with the log. So we find that 10 to the power of 5.5 is equal to the ratio of the intensities. And finally, we'll just multiply both sides of the equation by I naught to solve for I. So I is equal to I naught times 10 to the power of 5.5. I naught is a constant, and we do have its value that we can just look up. And it's equal to 1.0 times 10 to the power of negative 12 watts per squared meter. So we multiply this by 10 to the power of 5.5. And if we plug this into our calculator, then we find that the intensity of the wave is about 3.162 times 10 to the power of negative 7 watts per meter squared. So that's the intensity of the wave. But we want to find the amount of energy being detected per second. You might notice that this is basically the definition of power. Conveniently for us, there is a formula, a very convenient formula, for the power of the sound wave. It's equal to the intensity of the wave times the area that is receiving it. So we'll multiply the intensity that we just found in for i, and multiply that by the area given to us in the problem, the surface area of the eardrum, which is 5.0 times 10 to the power of negative 5. If we put that into our calculator, then we find a power of about 1.581 times 10 to the power of negative 11 watts. So this is the energy per unit second being received by the eardrum. Part B of the problem asks us how long it would take for the eardrum to receive a total of one joule of energy. So what I'm going to do here is take one joule of energy and use the value we just determined as a conversion factor. What we just found is that in, t in one second, it uh, 1.581 times 10 to the negative 11 joules of energy are received. So we can use this conversion factor to cancel out the joules and convert it into some amount of time in seconds. Now it's pretty obvious here that this is going to be some absurdly massive number. So I'm going to convert it from seconds to years as well. So I'm going to add another conversion factor because one year is equal to about 3.16 times 10 to the power of 7 seconds. So if we add that in to the mix and put this into our calculator, then we find that the amount of time it takes is equal to about 2,001 years. So that's how long it'll take for the eardrum to receive one joule of energy at this rate. And that is it for this problem. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please consider subscribing as it'll help me make more videos like this. If you have a question, leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to help you out as best as I can. If you have a request for a future video or you'd just like to hang out, my Discord server and my Twitch are linked in the description below, so check those out if you'd like. But that's all for now, and I hope you all have a lovely day. Bye-bye.